right mates today i've got a tutorial video for you i'll show you how to get an fps meter on any android device in any android phone the matter of the fact is that a default the fps meter is unavailable it's not there even on many of the gaming brands even on this one this is a vivo iq being a purely gaming device it was the iq brand was created founded as a gaming brand however for whatever bloody reason there is no fps meter even in this gaming assistant or game tools that's basically there's a gaming assistant available in any game but there is no fps meter and that's very frustrating given the fact that the fps meter is available in stock android so it's uh, google pixel 9 uh, sorry 8 pro that's probably my dream to have a 9 pro but what i mean is that the fps meter is available at stock android it's powered by google play services but yeah i've got the google play services here on this phone but there is no such thing as fps meter so i'm frustrated i'm gutted and uh, i'll show you how to get an fps meter on absolutely any android phone let's go so to get an fps meter you'll firstly need to download and install two applications from a play store i'll put both links in the description the first one is shizuku the second one is tacostats once you've installed them both you firstly go with the shizuku it's important to firstly run the shizuku service and once you enter it here is the pretty straightforward step-by-step -step guide but we'll take a shortcut firstly you pair it with your device so tap the pairing button and it sends you to developer options and in developer options you need to enable the usb debugging and wireless debugging meaning debugging over wi-fi i believe it doesn't work with with mobile network and you simply enter this text wireless debugging and inside it has this pairing code you tap on it you get the code 5623488 and you enter it in the notification from shizuku yeah you need to enable notifications i already forgot 562348 562348 let's try yes the pairing is successful we get back to shizuku and simply start it absolutely it runs a script and voila you all you need now is to get to the taco st stats application you need to authorize it from shizuku and now you go to the taco stats and simply tap this start button and yeah here we have the fps yeah it, you also need to enable notification from taco stats to get this floating notification permanent notification it uh, goes over all the applications and here you have the customization button what will be displayed you can add some cpu frequency some other figures from cpu and gpu but i only need the fps you can adjust the text size let it be this this big or this big text color background and even its position on your screen it will hover on the top of your screen and let's check if it works let's do sample some simple sorry some let's check it with a, some simple game with any other game it's here let's check it with any application it works it 
works perf perfectly with all applications on your phone and once you don't need it anymore you you need to stop both services taco stats yeah you need to this this allows it to hover on your screen overlay and you stop it and then you stop the shizuku service stop shizuku and voila it's gone in my opinion it's absolutely yeah swipe out this notification in my opinion it's absolutely useful feature to have especially for gaming reviews for gaming phones so please leave your comments down below if you like this tutorial or not and was nice seeing you guys cheers